Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm really excited to be here with you today to show you kind of a neck discovery that I made. My neck, for those of you who have commented on it recently, you've been saying, what do you do to keep your neck a little smoother? And in the past, it was not as smooth as it is now. And I believe the reason my neck is getting more smooth, and I'll show you some before and after pictures in just a moment, is that I have a certain secret cream that I am using on my neck and it is a hormone cream, so I would not advise using this unless you've been to your OBGYN and he or she thinks it is right for you, but it certainly is working for me and I'm really excited about it. But before I get into that neck discovery, and I kind of think I did discover this, that it really does help the neck wrinkles smooth out. But first, before I get into my neck wrinkle cure, well, it's not a cure, but it does kind of calm them down, I believe, I wanted to show you this. And I recently did a video about KISS artificial nails, and here these are, and these are the medium length. When I did the video, which I will link below, I only had the shorter length, which I really don't prefer the short length, but these are the long ones, and I am amazed by how wonderfully these nails wear. And each package costs about $6, maybe $6.50, and it includes 28 nails, which is enough for about two sets of nails, and I'm finding that they last about two weeks each and I'll show you what they look like when they're brand new in the package there. I absolutely love these, and these are a great option for our sheltering in place times. And actually, here in Wichita, we have sheltered in place for maybe about a month, and things are opening up, and actually this Monday, the salons will be opening up, and I will be going to Moon, who is my great manicure person, and I will be getting a pedicure, but I will go in in a mask and gloves, and I just don't feel comfortable yet getting face-to-face -face manicures with people. And apparently in California, they believe that's how COVID started there, was in a nail salon. And I can believe that because you're face-to-face -face with your manicurist. But basically, I have found that this is such a great nail solution that I don't think I'll ever go back to getting the acrylic tips that I used to get. The tips cost about $50 a set to begin and then maybe $25 or $30 for fills. And these are about $4 a set, and each set lasts about two weeks. Once they start popping off at the end of two weeks, you just keep re-gluing them until your own natural nails have grown out enough that you think you need a new set. And the wonderful thing about these nails is that unlike my tips, they don't damage your nails underneath. So my nails are growing out very nice underneath these artificial nails and they fit my nails very well, they wear well, and I do think they look really good, and they come in a variety of colors. They come in a lot of glittery finishes, which I don't exactly love, but you can paint over the glitter. I did that on my last set of nails, and it worked out very well. Okay, enough of the nails, but I did have to share that with you. The next secret that I've been using is actually my hormone creams. And I'll link the video below that I did early on about these hormone creams. And I saw these on the channel of another YouTuber, Barbara Hoffman, and she is wonderful. I'll link her channel below. And I ordered these from Amazon maybe about a year, year and a half ago. I started these hormone creams and I absolutely love them. This is a plant-based estrogen cream and a plant-based progesterone cream. And amazingly, just after I ordered these, I happened to have an appointment with my OBGYN. And so I took the creams into him in a bag and I was almost embarrassed to share this with him. And he looked at them and he looked at the dose that I was taking and he said, they're absolutely fine. And he said, in fact, these creams are known to become available in the blood quicker than trochies or oral hormones. And I have really been liking these creams because they get rid of my hot flashes. And I really just think they help me sleep better. I think they help me feel better. Really do like these. And although you'll have to talk to your doctor to find out if hormones are right for you, my doctor believes that the long-term use of hormone type preparations is actually good for us and our overall health as we age. But again, you'll have to talk to your doctor about your own particular case. But basically what I used to do is that I used to apply these twice a day on my inner arms because they always said you could apply the creams on your inner arms or on your neck skin because you had to apply the creams on thinner skin on your body so that they could sink into the bloodstream better. And basically I use a quarter teaspoon of this progesterone cream. And as you can tell, I'm totally out there. I just ordered two more vials from Amazon, but here is how it looks. And I use just about that amount. I'll go ahead and put it on my neck. 
maybe a little more than that usually, but I just put it on my neck in the morning and the evening. And the reason I switched from applying the cream on my inner arms to my neck is that I read a study online that estrogen especially thickens skin, and it is scientifically proven to thicken skin. So I thought, why in the world am I thickening the skin on my inner arms when my neck skin is becoming very paper thin and it was getting very wrinkly. And so I thought I would try an experiment of using the creams on my neck. This is the estrogen cream and you use about a half teaspoon of that. And I never really measure it. You do it twice a day, but then I just put it on my neck and I better remember not to apply this this evening because it will probably give me hot flashes. I don't want to do a double dose. I don't know why I just did that for you. But anyway, I have been doing that for the last 60 days and I took a before picture and an after picture and I'll show you them right now. You can see the first picture was back in March, 60 days ago, and my neck looked rather wrinkled and it had several lines on it, maybe about four major lines. And it just looked like the skin looked a little thinner maybe. And then on the right here, I just took that picture this morning and the neck wrinkles are largely gone. At least they're faded out quite a bit and the neck just has a smoother, actually a thicker skinned appearance. And that is exactly what the science says, that estrogen applied topically will thicken the skin. And I really feel that is what is happening. I have not noticed any difference in how I feel with applying the creams on my arms or on my neck, but I really do feel like using those creams on my neck is giving me an extra benefit there. Well, that's about all I had to share with you today. If you're on hormones, would like to share any information about hormones, or like to share any information about how you are treating your neck, I hope you'll leave a comment below because this is a community of women designed to help each other look and feel our best. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell and or give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend. A lot of and ors there. Well, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. I'll go ahead and choose a card. Hopefully we'll have something positive to think about for today. Relationships are assignments for optimal growth and healing. Relationships are assignments for optimal growth and healing. This is a very interesting card for me because just yesterday, my sister and I had a fight and I felt very unjustly treated. I mean, I won't go into the details, but it was crazy what happened there. Sometimes women get hormonal, I guess, and I guess she had one of those days, but the rage was flying and I got to feel the brunt of it. And I'm very tempted to hold on to that anger because what she did to me was not justified, but I've got to let go of that victim stuff and I've got to look at my part in it. And I realized that I would rather keep the peace so friends, just for today, if you have a difficult relationship, a bad experience with someone, I hope you'll pause and say, what is the lesson here for my growth and my healing? And that you'll go with that. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.